right, Sketch Pad Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. You know what it is. So today we're talking about the writer's strike in Hollywood. And now the actors have joined the strike. So let's get into it, man. strike going on with the writers but now i'm hearing the actors too so you know basically what i'm hearing that's happening now is that uh a lot of the movies are going to get pushed back um a lot of the tv shows series commercials whatever they're all on hold and i have never heard of nothing like this before I don't, I'm not even sure if something like this ever happened. Has something like this ever happened before? Yeah, it did. Once before. Yeah? Yeah, in the 60s. I didn't had no idea. Whoa, the 60s and we're in 2020. Dang. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. Um, honestly, you know, at the end of the day, man, I mean, it's major. It is major, you know what I mean, for, for those movie buffs, you know, that they like to go out and watch their favorite films. It's major for them. You know, for me, like, I mean, we got enough stuff nowadays. We could do our own, like, we could direct our own stuff. Like, you know, you know what I mean? But I I know why what's going on. You know what I mean? I know why, you know what I mean? And I understand what they're trying to do, you know, and but I'm gonna let you explain that. But I know. I know what's going on, you know, as far as uh, everything. It's just, I mean, you know, it just doesn't, uh, I don't, I, I know it's a big deal, but I don't feel like, you know, it's that big of a deal to uh, for people, but we'll see. We'll see what, what, what it's going to really affect, but I'll let you take over. Well, all right. It's a bunch of reasons why this is a big deal. One reason why it's a big deal, because this just doesn't this this strike doesn't just directly involve the writers. This directly involves everybody that's employed. That it works in the entertainment industry, because without the writers. Most people can't work. You know what I'm saying if the writers go on strike. Then the makeup artists, the uh, the producer, the directors, the um, whoever else, because the writers are the fundamentals of this, the orca, the um, the choreographers, they all out of a job. So, for example, if the writers go on strike, that means all the daytime shows, they don't have writers. So they basically going to be winging it and also people like The View and the club and all these different shows, they can't do it without the writers because they don't notice stuff. So even like, okay, when it comes down to TV shows, the writers, when it comes down to the news, the writers, that's all Hollywood, even local news. So it's going to affect everybody that, that world I'm saying, not us. It would affect us because we are not going to get, we're not going to get what they've been feeding us for the last five, six, seven years, I would say. So the reason why this strike is happening is because the movie industry is basically dead right now. And there's a reason for that. And I hate to put this on Disney, but it's Disney's fault. When Disney started doing movies that were going against family values and they started pushing an agenda. Disney is the front runner. Marvel, Disney, well, Disney owns Marvel. Disney owns ESPN. They are the front runners of this. Not to blame Marvel, but I'm just saying they're the front runner. So 
when you start eliminating certain things and start putting in certain things, you turn people off. So you start to lose money. And these companies, they only can lose so much money. Disney lost, I believe, over, it had to be over almost $50 billion. That's a lot of money. Nobody Ooh. can't sustain that for years to come. So what's going on is the writers want more inclusion. They want more diversity. They want more of the agenda that they've been pushing into this stuff. And the, uh, not to say that the CEOs of these companies are virtuous and they're good because they're not, but they're starting to recognize that that type of information or stuff that you're pushing that narrative, nobody wants to see it. So you're losing money. You have a small subsection of people who want to see it and they don't even know about Tony Stark. They don't know who Iron Man is, but yet and still they want you to promote what they want you to promote. You know what I'm saying? We, we know what it is, but I'm not going to say it, but still, so the writers and the CEOs are at war because the CEOs are saying, well, we can just use AI. We don't need y'all. That would work. But the actors are now striking now with the writers because the actors are on board with the writers. Mm -hmm. The CEOs, they need the actors. They don't need the writers. Let's just be clear. The writers can be replaced because AI would write a better movie than the writers. And it would do exactly what you asked it to do. It will write a script the way you want it. A lot of writers, they write these scripts and they have an agenda. The AI only does what you want it to do. So it could be an agenda or it could not be agenda. You know what it is. As far as the, uh, the actors joining the writers, here's the biggest problem that we're going to run into. Well, not us, but them. If they say, you know what? We just hire new actors. And we'll just still use AI. And we'll produce new movies. Different movies. There's nothing they can do. What can they do? You know what I'm saying? There's new actors that's born every day. And guess what? Me and you, we want to see new actors. We don't want to see the same people all the time. Why is Harrison Ford still doing Indiana Jones? Yeah, Why? I was wondering that, yo. <laughs> I seen it. I seen that joint the other day. I was like, yo, like he's still doing Indiana Jones? Like, wow. That's what I'm saying. So get rid of his get rid of him. It's cool. <laughs> Yeah, See like you could have, you could have got, you know, you could have had a, you could have did a story. But, oh, he has a son, Indiana Jones Jr. or something like that. Yeah, like, yo, uh, but oh, again, man. why is he in the movie? And you want to do deep face for a guy that's like eighty years old, and he's still, he's all of eighty. He looks all of eighty. It's like, and this is the thing. So Hollywood. I want y'all to be clear here. Just, I want to be clear here. Hollywood is not Netflix. Hollywood is not Apple. Hollywood is Hollywood. It's totally different from having a studio, Apple having this studio, because they don't have a problem. Apple doesn't have the problem. Netflix don't have a problem. It's Hollywood that has the problem. So you're going to see movies come out still from Netflix. You're going to still movies come out from Apple. You're going to see movies probably come out from Amazon Prime. But because they're they're going after, I think, Universal and um, I believe Disney, Bob Iger and all them over there. That's what they're, they're arguing and fighting with. This is the difference. Yes. But the, 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 the biggest issue that I think that they're going to face is the CEOs of these companies are not going to fold because... They lost too much money doing it your way. They want, I'm just going to go through some of the things. 
not all of it. I'm gonna say some of the things that they these what the writers want. The writers want basically them to now. I agree with this. Streaming just did. I would say streaming has basically destroyed a lot of stuff because you don't know how much money you're making off of streaming. They they get paid off of it, and the way it was set up, musically musically streaming used to benefit the artists but somehow the record labels took it over and now it benefits them more as far as uh and that's another thing too i believe that that writer strike it affects music too um mm -hmm. as far as the uh the, the the streaming goes i really don't know too much about who's getting the money from streaming or whatever but they're afraid of ai so they want to basically tell the studio that they can't use AI. They only have to use their writers. But in the process of them telling them that they're saying, well, the writers, the writers that we're using, we want to still continue to do what we've been doing. And we still need the same amount of money that we've been spending. And on top of that, we want certain, uh, communities, transformers, communities to be a part of this. And if they're a part of it, even if they're not working, even if they're not working, we want to be, they, they have to be paid. Even if they're not working, they have to be paid. And the CEOs are saying, that's stupid. Why would I pay somebody that's not working? So it's basically, they came to an, they can't come to an agreement because they're not budging and the CEO's not budging. And they're basically saying, it's the CEO's fault. And the CEOs are saying, well, we let y'all do uh whatever for the past five, ten years, five, six, eight years, and y'all just everything bombed at the box office because of y'all. Now we want to do something different. And they're upset about it. So that's basically what it is. And and truth be told, I can't agree with the CEOs on this one. Because I believe that a lot of agendas that was being pushed, nobody wanted to see it. You can't you can't put a certain narrative into Spider Man or into uh into Batman or whatever because you feel your worldview need to be put in there. What does the source material say? The source material says this. So let's stick with that. Why are you turning the Hulk, even though we do know there's a She-Hulk, but why are you basically making all the men women now? So all the Avengers are women now. You know what I'm saying? Nothing, nothing wrong with women, but all the Avengers are women now? Like, come yeah. on. So stuff like that, I believe that people start to pick up on and people just ain't buying it no more. It was fun in the beginning, but now people are not buying it because they know that you're only doing it just for a personal agenda. And that's the writer's strike, man. And I don't see it coming to an end no time soon. So you're going to see a lot of movies get pushed back and you're going to see a lot of movies that don't happen. That's just that. You know what I mean? Wow. So, well. Yeah, man. Well, you know, like I said, you know, uh, you know, AI, AI is up, t taking over, man. You know, the artists are using it. Well, not the artists, but they're being used to create songs. You know what I mean? With the artist's voice and all that stuff. So, see how far it goes. Yeah, man. Hey, man, Sketchpad, you know what it is.